I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my YouTube channel and the website globalmathinstitute.com. In this video, we'll talk about numbers, numbers, and more numbers. I hope you'll find it interesting and useful. Let me first thank my friend, Mr. Sunil, who has introduced me to his friends. He's taking extremely good care of so many people and providing them with innovative ways of learning. I really appreciate his efforts. This video is dedicated to all the friends of Mr. Sunil. Let me welcome you all. I would like you to participate actively to really enjoy this creation. Remember, there are no right or wrong answers. We are only exploring to see numbers in different ways. We'll have number of activities here. Here is the very first activity. The question here is, how many numbers can you make from these numbers without repetition? One, two, three. So you have to use only these three numbers without repeating and make as many numbers as you can. Let us see how many numbers you can make with these three numbers. Let's really explore the possibility of writing numbers with these three numbers. Well, some of you must have got a list pretty big, right? Let's try how many we can get. So I guess I could write number one, two, three, right? Okay. So these are one digit numbers, right? So we got them as single digit. That means I could also write two digit numbers, which is combining the two. We could write starting with one, I could write 12, one and two. And then I can write one and three. I can also begin with two. In that case, I get 21 and 23. If I start my numbers with 3, I get the numbers 31 and 32. So what I have here is a list of numbers which have two digits. Correct? Well, we can also make three digit numbers. Let's see how. Number 1, 2, 3 itself. That is starting with 1 and then writing 2 and 3. I can reverse this order, right? I can also write this number as 1, 3, and 2. Yes, we could begin with 2 and write a number 2, 1, 3. And we can reverse the order and write as 2, 3, 1. Let's also write numbers starting with 3 as 3, 1, 2 and 3, 2, 1. And now I think we have got all the numbers since repetition is not allowed. So let's count how many. So we got three of these. One, two, three, four, five, six. And one, two, three, four, five, six of these. Adding them all, nine plus six is 15. So we have 15 numbers in all. So our right answer here, I shouldn't say right or wrong, but the maximum number of numbers which you could get from these numbers is indeed 15, right? So that becomes the maximum. So you could write 1, 2, 3, 9, 15 numbers with this. So I hope you got the concept. We'll now extend this concept and take another example. Well, let us work on this example once again. I will share with you a strategy of getting this solution faster. So let's summarize what we did. We actually worked with first one digit numbers, right? Then we figured out two digit numbers. 
And then we worked out how many three digit numbers are there. When we say one digit, we mean there is just one digit to fill in. Two digits means we could have two digits to fill in. And three will mean something like this. Right? The numbers given to us are one, two, and three. So as far as one digit numbers go, you can place any one of these three. So we have three combinations. So any one of these three can come, the digit will be filled in. When we say two digit numbers, you have a choice. First, you could write one of the three digits. Once we make a selection, right, once you selected any one of them, then in the second place, you have a choice of either the other two, right? So we have a choice of two more. When you multiply these, you get a number six, and that's what we got, right? As far as the three digit numbers go, we have a choice of three numbers to begin with. Once we select a number, we are left with two. And once you select the second number, we are only left with one more number. Multiplying these, will give us 6. And the total of all that is what our answer is. And in our case, the answer will be add these 3, 9 plus 6, which is 15. Right? So we again got the same answer. However, we do not have to list all the numbers to count. So that is fast, right? So that is what we mean when we say a strategy. It really helps to give a quick solution. So that means if I increase the numbers, then also we can find a quick solution. Perfect. So here is the second activity for you. I'm calling this to be extended, right? So it's an extended activity where you should be applying the strategy learned and then find the answer. So you can pause, let's pause the video for some time and figure out the solution. So the strategy here is to begin counting how many one digit numbers are there, right? So I'm writing one, two digit numbers. So we have four digits now, right? Three digit numbers and four digit numbers. So let me read the activity. It is, how many numbers can you make from these numbers without repetition? The numbers are four, five, six, and seven. Right. So let's figure this out. Let's do it together. One digit numbers, two digit numbers, three digits, and four digit numbers. As far as one digit numbers are concerned, there are four choices. We are looking for choices, right? How many can you choose? We have combination, four choices. For two digit numbers, first we have four choices. When you fill in, you're left with three numbers. So then three choices. For three digit number, the choices will be four, three, two. And for four digit numbers, it will be four, three, two, one. So I hope that makes sense, right? Now the idea is to multiply these numbers and write down on the side. So four times one will be four. Four times three is 12. 4 times 3 times 2 is twice 12, which is 24, and this is also 24. When you add them all, you get total number of numbers. And when you add, what do you get? Let's try to add them. 4, 4, 4, 4, 12, and 2, 14. Or you can say 4 plus 2 is 6, plus 4 is 10, and 1, 4, 14. So add 1 here, so you get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 
64. So our solution here is 64, right? So let me write 64. And that becomes our answer for the given question. Is that clear? Do you see how useful this strategy is? So we could actually find the answer for extended case without even writing the numbers. Perfect. Now here is a tricky question for you. So we are calling it as expert levels. So if you have reached this level, you should be sure that you are an expert on this topic now. Let me highlight the word expert level. We'll also take a tip from here. The question now is, how many numbers can you make from these numbers without repetition? The numbers are 7, 8, 9, and 0. So again, let's do our work. You can also do it along with me. And then we'll check our solution. So we're looking for one digit. Let me write one digit first. OK, two digit numbers. So we'll follow the same process. Three digit numbers and we can get four digit numbers. One digit numbers means only one place, two digits, two places, three digits and that becomes four digits. Our choices this time will be for one digit we can write any of these four numbers. Zero is also a number, right? But when you want to write two digit numbers, can you begin with zero? If I write zero, two, it is only a one digit number, right? So that is not going to work. So in the first place, you cannot have zero. We, are, we have a choice of only three numbers. Do you see that? So in this case, cannot have zero. Is that clear? Right? So we have only three choices. Perfect. Once you select any of these numbers which are 7, 8 or 9, you can only select from 7, 8 or 9, then you are left with other three numbers. You can place a zero at the end. So that becomes your possible solutions for two digit numbers. Three times three is nine. Now if you are looking for three digit numbers, again the first digit cannot be zero. You have a choice of only three. Once you select that, then again you are left with three numbers and then two. And for four, we will follow this pattern. Is that clear to you? Now let's multiply them to get total number of choices. So for the first one, there are four choices. For the second one, it is 3 times 3, which is 9. And then we have 9 times 2 as 18 and 18. We can add these to find the total, right? 8 plus 8, 16 plus 4, 20 and 9, 29, 2, 3 and 1, 4. So we have 49 choices. So our answer in this particular case is 49. So it is much lesser than what we got last time. Correct? Let's see what we got last time. With four numbers, it was 64. Do you see that? Which is much more than 49. So that means that zero made all the difference, right? So that zero made all the difference. Clear? So I hope you have understood all the concepts. Here is what you can explore. We are almost at the end. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Here is the last activity. Activity 4. Enjoy and have fun. How many numbers can you make from these numbers without repetition? And this time we have taken all the numbers. The numbers we are talking about are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 0. You can use the strategy and provide the solution. 
So let this be an exercise for you for the day. Well, that brings me to the end of this chapter. I would like you to please provide me the feedback so that I can come out with something productive and useful for you. I will also appreciate your time if you could do some rating on this video on a scale of one to two rather on a I will also appreciate if you could take out some of your valuable time and rate this video on a scale of one to ten where ten is the best your suggestions will help us provide useful information thank you and have great fun with mathematics thank you